Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Chief Chuan, and you're watching part three of my grounded playthrough. Let's dive in. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. We're back. We're back at her. So, last episode, for those of you that don't know what happened, we built all the grass plank walls. So, um, yeah, basically not too much happened. <laughs> it was a pretty boring episode. But anyways, um, Clay Plays commented on the last video and let me know that the bird has been added along with uh, certain craftable things. So the bird will drop feathers randomly upon taking flight, typically. Um, I also read a few of the updates and the spiders have learned a new set of attacks instead of just their basic bite. Um, yeah, and just some some lighting changes and some some uh, ambient insect noise around certain biomes and that kind of thing. So, uh, major uh, update was the bird being added, but also um, yeah, the the spiders learning new new uh, attacks is pretty crazy. Um, I mean, I have yet to try to kill a spider. I have been killed by a spider plenty of times, but uh, I haven't. I fought one intending to win at this point. So. Um, I wouldn't really know if their attacks were different, but they're different, so that's uh, neat. It's cool that they're already updating things like that, and uh, the bird being added is really cool. So hopefully, uh, during this episode at some point, we can check out the bird, and uh, I guess actually if we look at crafting right now, well, we haven't researched the feather yet, so we'll have to find a feather this time, hopefully. Uh, if not this time, next time for sure, since we're still somewhat focusing on base building. Um, I'm not too stuck on uh, just building the base this time just because we're having an issue with the door um i don't know if that's due to uh the update because they have updated the way certain buildings um attach to things you build them on such as uh, if you build a building on the baseball it's much more stable now um i'm not sure if that affected what uh buildings on rocks and stuff like that but it seems as though i can't build a door which i've never had an issue with prior so I'm not going to blame that on the update. It could potentially just be where I have built my base. Um, I will definitely take that on the chin if that's the case. But uh, we'll just see here again if uh, if we can get this to work. I doubt we will be able to. Like we can build it way up there. Which is super peculiar because I'm not sure why the door would have an issue being built. Um, I guess we could check and see if it can be built on any of these sides. Because it's not like it matters if it's built exactly there. Um... I'm just really hoping we don't have to uh, move the base entirely because that would blow. Um, I guess one thing we could do is potentially build further out here. If there's a spot where it can be built. I'm not sure if there is. So like, it seems like it'll build itself in like weird angles. But I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed because I've never had an issue with this before. But... Uh, was it building there? It was building somewhere here. It seemed like it snapped. Because I don't mind having to take down and recycle all that stuff just to move the door. Like, I mean, the door is pretty crucial <laughs> to the base. So, I mean, we kind of have to build the base around the door. So, I guess I'll just keep moving this around and hope to find a spot. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've, I've seen glimpses of it attached somewhere over here it would just suck really bad to have to not build on the rock because i love building here it's such a safe area to build mainly just because i'm a baby yeah see i can't seem to get it to connect anywhere so that's frustrating but i mean it is what it is what are you supposed to do um i guess we'll see if we can get it anywhere over here because I honestly don't mind recycling some of my stuff. It's just, this is kind of frustrating that it would all of a sudden not work after an update. But anyways, I'm not sure what we're going to do here. Because like, if I build it there, like I wonder, you know, it'd be funny if like animals couldn't get in if I built it there. That'd be hilarious. Yeah, see, like I can't get through there. That'd be... <laughs> I guess we'll leave it like that and see if ants can uh, can come through. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll wait and see. Um, it looks terrible, but that's all right. I don't mind. Um, 
Yeah, so whatever. I guess we have the door built. I mean, <laughs> it's sort of, if you want to call that built. I wonder how how tall a... Uh, what would a scaffold do? You know what I mean? Like if... Oh, okay. So if I built a scaffold right here. That's not bad. Let's do that. Just to see how that seals it up. Because maybe that'll make it look a little better. <laughs> At least that makes it look like it's uh, somewhat... Uh, blocked from being uh, broken in by ants or something because man once we build those uh, once we build our chests ants are drawn to that kind of thing so I mean is what it is also how many points do we have 820 we should keep looking for points because uh, we are gonna need to upgrade our base building abilities in order to build the um, the floor which also acts as the ceiling. So, let's go do some exploring. Choke it down, Pete. Oh. Choke it down, Pete. You can do it. It's either mom's or dad's Brussels sprouts. It's like, I wish he would just realize that it's not the person cooking them. It's him. He has the issue. <laughs> Pete, grow up. There are kids in other countries starving. You can eat your little mushrooms. So let's see if we can potentially get a glimpse of the bird. And while we're at it, let's look for some of those, uh, what are they called even? The research points, I guess I'll call them. I know they're not called that in the game, but uh, we'll call them that for now. Science points or something like that? I'll figure out eventually. We'll go talk to, uh, talk to Burger, the Burger bot and see what he's got going on. Sometimes you just gotta attack the mites, you know? That seems loud to me. It sounds very loud. You know what? Let's turn that down a little bit. That was aggressive. <laughs> My eardrums were getting punched by that spear. It wasn't just the uh, the mite. Okay, so there's still mite chasing us. Okay, that's much better on my eardrums. All right, now I don't know anything about the bird like where it preside like where it resides or where it like normally sits or like where's a guaranteed spot to see it so we're just gonna kind of mess around and uh yeah hope we find it at some point i mean hopefully we don't die along the way but there's always potential for that in grounded because there's uh, enemies everywhere um they also in the update did something to do with the clover cave uh whether it was to do with lighting or just uh something to do with the clovers in general so i mean uh, if you know where that is, I do not. I, uh, I'm not super well versed in this game. I know the basics of it, but if you know where that is, uh, supposedly it's a little bit different. So, I mean, uh, if you haven't checked it out since the update, then definitely uh, go give that a look. Because, yeah, supposedly things have changed. So, may as well check it out, right? Oh, that poor weevil. He's getting dummied by those ants. Okay, so there's a massive spider up over there. I'm assuming he's coming this way because he's put a web... Right around here so that must be kind of where he's hanging out so we'll ditch that because spiders are disgusting <laughs> i wouldn't say i have arachnophobia um even though one of my videos definitely has that as clickbait <laughs> but i do not like spiders spiders are disgusting i don't like them in real life um which is funny because i'm a construction guy and everything i do with my job has to do with tearing down old gross like decks and things like that and uh, there's always lots of spiders but I still hate them. I've never gotten used to, uh, you know, uh, not being super afraid to stick my hand under a, a rotten old deck to like pry it apart. Look at these boot prints. That's wild. I have I haven't seen those before. I wonder if those are in addition. They probably aren't. I probably just wasn't focused on them prior. But those are neat. Like that's spooky. <laughs> Holy moly, those things are huge. If you know whether or not those were added in the update, let me know in the comments below. That'd be, I'd love to know. Um, I could just go look at the update sheet, but, but hey, you guys are real smart with that kind of thing, so you probably know better than I do, even though I should be looking that kind of thing up, but here we are. Here we are. All right. Where is this bird going to be? You can hear it. And like, I guess it would probably be near the tree, since obviously birds make nests in trees. So maybe we should kind of go back to where I was. I don't know. We'll take a look. It's worth a shot. Ooh, there's some points, right? Is that a point? Yeah, that is too. Look at that. We found some. I was hoping we'd find some along the way. Yeah, raw science. That's what it's called. Perfect. I think we need a thousand 
for what uh, I intend on upgrading. So hopefully we can find a little bit more, you know, floating around. It's always good to to collect that stuff. It's rare, so I mean, it's uh, it's nice to find it on the map without having to like complete something. Much easier to do it that way. Hey, there's some. But this is the spider cave, is it not? We might, we might be dying here. We might be dying here. Did that spider not see me? Look at what they do. They put the raw science in the entrance to the spider cave. Like, that's just mean. <laughs> I mean, hey. I guess we should go try and get it? Oh, yeah. He's got some aggro, hey? He can aggro from quite a ways away. I guess we're not going to go do that. Because <laughs> I don't feel like ch being absolutely scared out of my mind right now. Hey. I guess I haven't found this before. That's neat. The mints. That's cool, hey? I'm sure everybody's had a tic-tac in their life. It's kind of cool. Right on. Okay. Well, it's getting pretty late. It's going to get pretty scary, I'm thinking, as per usual. Is there anything we can analyze? Hey, may as well analyze this cloverleaf, even though we've already been building with it. <laughs> Why not? Maybe it'll unlock some stuff for us. There we go, it did. Got some raw signs for that sweep. So we should be pretty close, because I think I might have had 80 before. Nope, I only had 20. So that's giving us 20. Better than a kick in the pants, I've always said. 20 raw signs never hurt anybody. So there's the tree. So let's kind of head back to our uh, our base. Um, hopefully, along the way, we'll see the bird or something. Mutation detected natural explorer. You in the status tab? What is that? I don't even know what that means. All right, here we go. What's this? With each landmark you find it, you gain a better understanding of the lay of the land. Your tiny feet traverse the yard like it's the back of your hand. Okay, cool. I don't know if that's going to give us some sort of... Uh, buff or something or a perk but hey cool i uh i that's i think that's new or maybe i just haven't played the game long enough but i played the game long enough and and searched enough things uh in a prior game that you'd think i would have found that one at least because we haven't been in this one long so obviously that that's uh new maybe it was two updates ago or something because i haven't played in quite a while but that's all right we're back on it and the game is only getting more exciting so I'm very, very excited to see where this game goes and to see kind of how the storyline uh, unfolds. Obviously, it's still a pre-release, uh, so the storyline is not complete, nor do I think it'll ever be. This seems like one of those games that you could always add on, especially with, like, different insects and different uh, different combat modes or different different items. Like, it's it just got a ton of playability and a ton of uh, um, ways it can be upgraded and improved constantly, so... I'm excited for that. Also, different maps. Like, I mean, it's going to be really neat to see what they do with this game. It's already an incredible game. So, I mean, they've got a, a, a beautiful base to, to uh, build onto. But look at this. I've never seen that on before. That's because I sleep most nights because I'm scared. <laughs> so, that's cool. Um, there is a massive wolf spider that hangs around this tree uh, in there, typically. Sometimes he comes out here, though. So, um not sure what he does at night, but I'm sure it's nothing good. So let's kind of rock and roll back to our uh, base there. Fall asleep in the lean-to. Get things... Uh oh I jumped. Oh, no, I got good. I, I landed good. <laughs> I thought I jumped right off the, the twig. I was like, oh, no. Also, has anybody IRL seen Roots do this? <laughs> Out of the ground? I... I can't say I have, and I've been in a lot of backyards. So, but if you have, let me know. I could be wrong. Also, I did not notice. See, I haven't played enough at night. I didn't notice how much uh, water is readily available at night. Like, I understand that it's cold and the and the uh, moisture will settle, but like, pretty cool. They've got it looking uh, really good. Oh, see, so I didn't have this unlocked due to the fact that I didn't uh, research clover. So that's funny. That's my bad. I'm kind of wondering if we go look in the, if we go look in the the tree lab right now, if there's gonna be, 
raw science kicking around because I don't remember what I actually did when I was in there. I think I collected everything, but I could be wrong. So let's go take a quick peek before we... Uh... Also, I don't understand what the grubs are doing. Do the grubs attack you now? Like, I don't get it. It kind of seems like they do. Like, they, they make a spooky noise now. I don't remember them doing that prior. It was happening to me last... Uh, the last time I played as well, the last episode, but um, like I said, I haven't played in quite a while since then, so I'm not sure uh, if anything was changed prior to this update as well, so I'll have to look back and check that out. So let's just make sure that that spider is not kicking around here, because he tends to lurk and he scares the bejeebas out of me, so I don't like him. He's killed me a few times. Also, I wonder if they fixed the uh, the fact that the spiders can jump through things when they attack with their bite. Like, they'll, like, jump through the uh, the containers and stuff like that. And it's like, okay, well, that's not possible. So I hope they fix that because that was really annoying for me. I had been killed a few times like that. I mean, it's not a game ender, but it's just, I don't know, it's frustrating. All right, let's see what we got for his trading. No research cards installed. Okay, that's fine. But doesn't he... Oh, no, maybe he doesn't. I thought... Have I not installed any of his chips around here that I that you find? I swear I have. Yeah, there used to be one on there. Huh. Weird. I don't know. Is there anything we can analyze? No, we checked last time. Only the clover was... Oh, look at that. That's right there. So let's throw that in there. Crazy, huh? Is it really that crazy, though? Here we go. Okay, so multi-story bases. I think this is what I want. Yeah, grass floor. That's what I was looking for. Um, I can't wait to get some of these. Like, that's going to be so neat. So we got here grass stairs. Is that new? I don't remember that being a thing. So we're close. So we have to get 60 more raw signs. So that's exciting. But... I wish we would have got a little bit of raw science for giving him his chip back. That would have been sweet, but uh, that's all right. You win some, you lose some. Too bad we couldn't uh, break that open and see how much is sitting in there. Looks like there's quite a bit. All right, well, let's keep on rock and rolling. Hope that spider's not out here. Doesn't seem so. I'm not going to look back because I'm scared. <laughs> Never look your enemy in the eye. Just run away. Show them your back. Just kidding, that's terrible. Never turn your back. <laughs> Unless you're me running away from a giant spider. Scrubs are kind of creepy, though. Alright, let's go check out our lean, too. May as well get some Zs while we can. The base does not look great with that, but I mean, hey, <laughs> it is what it is. Hopefully I can, you know, install some stairs, actually get rid of the scaffold and put some stairs there or something like that, so. We we'll see. All you gotta do is find 60 more raw signs, so. May as well explore for that, and let's hope again today that we're able to hopefully see the bird at some point. I mean, that would be wicked. You can hear a lot of chirping, but I mean, don't see it. It's too bad. I'm not sure how you, you get it to move, or, or if it's just it moves whenever it wants, or what, but we'll figure that out, I guess. Look at that, more water sitting around. Beauty. Yes, our classic water in the Coke can. Never fails. Never lets us down. I guess let's go around the tree a little bit. And see if we can uh, find this bird. I wonder if that wolf spider is just chilling. Oh, is this not the entrance to the... Oh, no, it's not. It's different. Okay, cool. Because he typically sits around there. Sits around the main kind of entrance. I think it's right... Oh, there he is. There's two of them. That's spooky. Let's get up on top here. So that we can run over them and not get eaten. Oh, okay. Never mind. What's he getting mad at? That's scary. Please don't chase me. Oh. Yeah, let's not go that way now. Never mind. Ixnay on that way. 
I don't want to take the chance. Those things are so gross. We could take the long way around, but to be honest, the tree's pretty heavily guarded by spiders. Like, it's nasty. There's a lot of spiders around it, especially on the other side as well. Which is frustrating. A little bit. Just because we're trying to find this dang bird. I guess I could have researched where to find it, but I kind of wanted to find it organically. Or maybe that's just an excuse for my laziness. <laughs> I'm too lazy to type in where to find the bird. No, I'm just kidding. I hope you find it, though. I wonder if we go the long, long way around. If we'll be able to avoid the spooky spooters. We have yet to kill an ant, I think, in this game. We'll get to that. All that good stuff, eventually. Yeah, see, this is where the other spiders are. Like, see, there's one there. Gross. And I know there's more up over here. Because they all seem to kind of sit around the, uh, the, like, kind of mini picket fence deal. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we can do here. I know that there's a couple wolf spiders guarding up here. But we might just get lucky and get around them. I kind of want to go to that field center. Let's do it. Let's rush it. I don't know why we rushed it. Because <laughs> there was nothing in there. But hey. We did it. We did it. We full sent. I swear there was a bunch of spiders over here too. I don't know. Let's take let's go wide. Let's take it wide. If it honeydew times three. Ooh, what a score. What a dang score. So still no sound of the bird, eh? Hey? Wild. It's not up in the trees. Or in the tree, I should say. Yeah, see, there's a spider over there. So we'll go this way. Give him lots of room. This is an aggro. Because fighting a spider is not on today's to-do list. Let's be honest. <clears throat> there we go. Man, the terrain in this game is so neat. I mean, and like... I don't know uh, if I were to crank the graphics, like if it would look a ton better just because my computer probably couldn't handle streaming the, or uh, recording this and and streaming it, to be honest, and playing. So, I mean, once I get a better computer, it'll be sweeter to be sweet to take a look at like high graphics and see how beautiful the train really is. Because I'm sure it's much better on the uh, higher graphics. So my apologies. You're not getting the the uh, full view of what the game has to offer on, on my graphic settings. So. Still? No. Dang. Still no no bird, hey? And it's annoying, too, because it's, like, teasing you, because you can hear it. Tough, tough creature, hey? It just doesn't want to doesn't show itself. That's all right, though. Let's find ourselves some raw signs. Maybe. There's that one by that spider cave. I guess we could rush it. But, I mean, I don't even have a... I don't even have a, a weapon that can stun them, unfortunately. So, probably not the smartest idea. But I'm not known for being... For, for having the smartest idea. So, we could try it. We could try it. Oh, there's a stink bug. Those things are mean, man. They're, uh, they're tough to kill, too. Oh, there's two of them. Are they sleeping? They are, too. Uh-oh. The sounds they make are super weird. The problem with the stink bug is, it, like... It's... It like does it's like plume thing where it like 
fills you with freaking gas. Like that. Yeah, sick. That doesn't even hurt it. And, like, there's not much I can do here. Alright, let's run. So we lost our spear, but I mean, that's okay. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. I, I was hoping there was like going to be a bubble of raw science something in there. But alas, it wasn't the case. It wasn't meant to be. What is that spooky dude? Yeah, that's a negative. Oh, I was trying to turn around and run. <laughs> that's a no from me. Was dominated by a larva. Oh no. Don't you hate being dominated by a larva? Well, unfortunately, guys, I think that is at least our 20 minutes. We're done. Let's leave it there. I'm sorry we didn't get much done. <laughs> hey, we did, some, we did some exploring. We built a cool little scaffold. We built our door super awkwardly. And uh, we went looking for some raw science, fun a little bit. So next episode, I really hope we can find that bird. I really hope we can get that uh, base upgrade. We can keep building the base a little bit better. Um, hopefully, we can figure out this whole door situation and make it look good. Uh, whether we have to put the whole base on scaffold or what. But we'll figure it out. Anyways, guys, if you like the content, hit that like button. And hey, if you're into it, hit the subscribe button as well. Hit that bell notification so you know when I drop another video. Um, and if you want, let me know in the comments about my Discord. We'll pump you in there, and uh, you'll then have access to when I go live on Twitch, if you want to come chat in there as well. So thanks, guys. Really appreciate it, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.